Hey everyone, Graham from Paragon Performance. Today I'm going to tell you about an exciting new product we have to offer you guys. This is the HP Tuners RTD. What that stands for is Remote Tune Device. Using nothing but this device and a smartphone, you can completely tune your car start to finish. Today we're going to go over how to use this device from start to finish to give you an overview of how that works. Before we can use the app, we will need to create an account with HP Tuners. We can do this directly from the app or from a computer on the HP Tuners website. Once we have an account created, we can sign into it from the TDN app. Then you will need to join our Paragon Performance Tuner account using the invite code that we will provide you. Once this is done, we are ready to move on to the fun stuff. Okay, now that we have our HP Tuners account created and we've downloaded the HP Tuners TDN app onto our smartphone, we're ready to get started. So the first step is to plug the RTD device into the ODB port. On most cars, you're going to find that down underneath the dash. Should see a green light come on there when it's got power. You might have to turn your ignition on. We'll go ahead and do that now. In this case, we'll hold down the start button here for about five seconds until everything on the lights on the dash comes on. So we're in the car now. We have our RTD device plugged in. We have our ignition all the way on, but the engine is not running. We've opened up the TDN app, and you'll see we'll have some stuff to read here, except the privacy policy. And now it's gonna ask us to pair the RTD device to the smartphone. Simply follow the prompts on the screen. We'll hit next. We already have our device plugged in. Now, we need to press and hold the Bluetooth button on the device. We'll see the light start blinking slowly. We'll hit next on the app. Hit OK to allow it to use Bluetooth. Agree to pair. Okay, now it says setup is complete. We'll hit done and we are paired up and ready to use the device. Okay, now that we're logged in, we'll go down here to the flash icon and we will read the vehicle. Again, we're making sure that we're plugged in, the ignition is on, engine not running. You wanna have your lights off. You wanna have everything else in the car turned off as much as it can be. Make sure you've got plenty of battery. If your car's been sitting, put a battery tender on it. Once that's good, go ahead and hit read vehicle. Hit okay. All right, we got some beeps from the car, so we know it's doing stuff here. We've got a status bar on the application, giving you the status of reading everything and an approximate time remaining. It's important that during this process, you don't interrupt it. Don't open the door, don't change the windows, don't turn anything off. Just sit and be patient and let it do its thing. Okay, looks like the reading is done. Now what it's doing is it's actually receiving the tune file from the device back to the phone. So we'll let that do its thing. All right, now we did get an error message here. It says it was unable to get the file from the RTD and it's not been synced to the tuner yet. This can happen sometimes. Um, the synchronization doesn't, doesn't go all the way through, but doesn't mean the file's lost. Just means we need to start over here. So let's take a look here. Now we see our vehicle here. 2019 Chevy Corvette Z06. We can click into that. We can see our red file. It does look like it made it to the device. So the error message might have been a mistake. We'll hit the upload button here. Okay, it looks like we're doing a retry here after a couple failures that we had. Now keep in mind this is this is a brand new device. This is a brand new application. There might be some bugs, you know, like we're seeing here at the time of this filming. So if it doesn't necessarily work the first time, doesn't mean it won't work a follow-up time. So use the synchronize button and give it a chance to retry and it should eventually go all the way through. Okay, looks like we got the file off of the RTD. Now it's sending it to the server, which means it's synchronizing that file to us. Now we can see that our red file has a 
green check mark next to it, meaning it did successfully read and synchronize to the TDN server, which means the tuner now has access to it. So what we're gonna do now is show you the process of flashing a custom tune to the ECM. We've got our RTD device plugged in. We're going to turn on the ignition, but not start the car. Typically, just holding down the engine start stop button or setting the key to the appropriate position will bring it on without starting the engine. This, this is where you wanna be. We'll open up the TDN app. So at this point, I've sent a custom tune file for this device, for this car. In order to get that on to the device, what we need to do is hit the sync files button here once we open up the app. This is gonna to talk to the network and it will download the tune file. So now it's sending the file to the RTD device so it can be flashed. So we'll wait for that to finish. Okay, so the synchronization finished. Now we can see we have two tune files here on our device. We've got the one that's called restore. That is the initial tune that we read. In most cases, that's gonna be your factory tune. If you need to put the car back to stock for any reason, you can flash that back to the ECM. Then you're going to have the custom tune here. In this case, it's called Paragon C 19Z06 AT stock 93 octane revision 1.0. This will be the custom tune file that your tuner, in this case us, has sent you. So we'll click on that. It'll give us an option here to write to the vehicle. We'll click that. We'll click OK. And again, remember your battery should be very well charged up or on a tender. Everything turned off. Leave the phone open. Don't turn anything off. Don't touch anything. Just let it do the flashing process. If you run into a message here about insufficient credits, you may need to resync the application to the device. If that's the case, we'll hit exit. We'll go here to the settings menu. Then we'll hit this resync credits option here. Follow the prompts. Okay, let's go back and try the flash again here. We'll hit right vehicle, hit okay. Okay, now we're flashing. Okay, flashing is complete. We'll hear everything power cycle, that's normal. Hit the okay button. Turn the ignition off. Recommend letting it sit for at least 10 to 15 seconds. Let everything kind of reinitialize and then you're ready to start it back up. Okay, so now we have the custom tune flashed on the ECM. We're gonna go ahead and start the car up. And now we're gonna show you how the data logging works. You know, a lot of times when flashing a custom tune, um, there's gonna be a process here where we want you to record a data log and synchronize that to us so we can make sure the tune's running well, perhaps do some updates for you. So we'll show you that process next. Down here at the bottom, we'll go to the logging section. Now with the engine running, we'll go ahead and hit the start button. It'll say, please plug the RTD in. We already have it plugged in, so we'll hit okay. Okay, now our data logging started. We can see a little dashboard here that'll mimic some of our dashes on the gauge or on, on the screen here. So we've got, you know, coolant, we've got our intake temperature, our RPM, and we can see our throttle position and speed. 
So you'll see that move around a little bit. That's what you want to see there. Now, typically while this is logging, we want to see three different things. We want to see the car idling. We want to make sure that the fuel trims and everything is normal here at idle. Um, we want to see it warmed all the way up, possibly you know doing a warm up here, which you could just go ahead and start it while you're warming the car up before you take it out. We also want to see the car cruising down the road at continuous speeds. We want to see a little bit of part throttle acceleration. And then we also want to see some full throttle acceleration. We need to be able to check the car under all these different load conditions and make sure everything's perfect. For now, I'm going to go ahead and stop this log. So that'll basically give us an idle log. You'll see when we stop that, it will synchronize that file back to our device from the RTD. So we hit the view and sync files. We'll see our log 0003. That's our idle log. And we have the ability to upload that to the TDN. You can also see here that we have a custom channel config that we've sent to this device. Typically when we send our tune files, we're gonna send the channels as well, and that should automatically get picked up by the application. If it doesn't for some reason, you can select it in here and use that for your recording channels. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and record some driving. So we're gonna go back down here to the logging section, and we're gonna start up another log here. Now, of course, we're doing this today in here on our dyno. If you have access to a dyno and you can use a dyno, that's definitely a great place to do this. A lot of people may not have access to the dyno, so you're gonna be doing this on the road. It's definitely important that you follow all the laws and you're very careful, you know, try to use empty roads when you're doing this. Okay, data logging started. So we're gonna go ahead and take off. We can see here our RPMs are following along with the dash. Our speed's following along, so we know everything's working. So I'm gonna take it on up here to about 60 miles an hour. That's a pretty common highway or interstate speed. There we go. I'm just gonna let it kind of hold this speed a little bit so we can record some, some data here at this, at this typical cruising speed. Now we'll slow it back down. Let's say we're back here at about 30 miles an hour. And we'll do a little bit of part throttle here, which means I'm not gonna completely floor the car, but I am gonna accelerate back up to 60 to 70 miles an hour at a little quicker pace. So there we go, we'll come back to a stop. So now we've recorded the car cruising along at normal speeds. We've included a little bit of part throttle acceleration so we can see that. We'll go ahead and stop that log. And again, go back to our view and sync files. And now we see a new log file there, log 0004. So we have our idle log and we have a cruising and part throttle log. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and record a full throttle pull. Uh, if your car is a manual, this is you know a little bit easier. You just select the gear that you wanna do your run in. And I recommend starting from about 2000 RPMs and going up to the rev limiter. Don't wanna hit the rev limiter real hard or hang out there, you know, go ahead and shift when you're done making the pull in that gear. Uh, in this case, the car is not automatic. I'm gonna use manual shift mode, use the paddle so I can keep it in a specific gear. I'm gonna use third gear in this case to do my pull. Again, it's very important, you know, if you can't use a dyno and you need to go do this on the road, respect the speed limits, respect the laws, find somewhere very safe to do this. Do not put yourself at risk to record data whatsoever. All right, we'll go ahead and start the logging back up again. Okay, we got our dashboards, that means we're good. So about 2,000 RPMs there, third gear in this car. All right, 
finish the poll, hit the stop button here on the logger. Now we'll hit the view and sync files. And we have a fifth log now, or a third log, log 0005. Now what we need to do is upload these to the Tuner Delivery Network, the TDN, so that we have access to those files and can review those. So we'll hit the upload button on each one of these, and then we'll hit the sync files down here at the bottom. That's gonna send those log files up to the network so we have access to those. Okay, so that's all done. We'll see the check marks next to each one of those, meaning they have been sent to the server. At this point, if we need to you know, revise your tune and send a new one, we will do so. That will show back up here in your tunes after you synchronize your files again. You'd flash your new map and you'd log it again for us. That's basically the process of tuning. All right, all done. So that's pretty much the process start to finish. Get the custom tunes, flash them to the ECM, record data log files, upload those back to us, and continue that process until the car's tuned in. That's a wrap. Thank you.